The finishing touches are being put on for a new exhibit by the San Diego African American Museum of Fine Arts. It opens tomorrow and is called Say Their Names. It's a memorial that features photos of 200 black people who have died either at the hands of police or as victims of racial violence. Tonight, News 8's Heather Hope gives us a preview. Yes, outdoors and right next door to the Children's Museum shows 50 pillars of pictures showcasing the names of black people who lost their lives. All these people were died because of systemic racism or police brutality, and there's a lot. Downtown at the Martin Luther King Jr. Promenade at West Island Avenue and Union Street, 200 black and white photos are stopping people in their tracks. I recognize so many faces and I'm like, wow, it does give me chills. It's a difficult yet moving subject. I think there's a lot of people in the area, but the people are kind of tiptoeing around this. The Say Their Names Memorial exhibit put on by the San Diego African American Museum of Fine Arts runs from July 10th through the 25th. And we say their names because they can't. They have paid the ultimate price. Museum Executive Director Gaini Finney says the long list of names of black people killed continues to grow with many recognizable faces from Emmett Till, the 14 year old lynched in 1955 Mississippi, all the way up to 2020 with George Floyd in Minnesota. How many people I actually knew of the 200? That's what got me. I was over here at the Children's Museum and I just looked over and I saw the image of Breonna Taylor and I thought this was so cool. It's an educational and conversational piece. And I think this is really beautiful and special and I was looking to see what dates so I could tell other people to come check it out. Already... Not just national names, but it pictures Alfred Alongo killed in El Cajon in 2016 and former NFL linebacker Demetrius DuBose killed in PB in 1999. That was my 10 year old question, like did all these people die? Um, and so, yeah, just the magnitude of that, like there's a picture on every side of the, the pillar. Finney first saw this traveling exhibit in Dallas and then in Portland. This park is owned by the city, but managed by the New Children's Museum with a partnership of kids activities planned. It just brought tears. I mean, I, I was really, and I've been seeing it and working with it, but in person, it's very powerful. It's very moving. It's very sad but it's hopeful. The ribbon cutting for Say Their Names exhibit kicks off tomorrow morning at 11 featuring Mayor Todd Gloria, City Councilwoman Monica Montgomery Steps, as well as family members of loved ones featured here in this exhibit. Heather Hope, News 8.